Hello guys, this is my new new tutorial about uh, Katia threads. This is update on my old video, so let's start. I'll just make a simple plate for start first. Just make simple plate. Go back and I will just pad it. Pad 20, okay. And now I want to insert a geometrical set, so um, threads. And now I want to insert a body and define here in part body and I think this is very good practice to uh, remove these holes from, from part body, from the main body. So let's, let's say holes and here also holes. So define here or define here in geometrical set and go to sketch and choose this plane or you can also choose at this axis plane and uh, then you can hide this choose this point and go to parallel to line and change this choose this hide back and reverse this now I want to add some points like this and exit from this sketch now I will define here in this body and go and choose this hole first I want to click on this point and then on this surface. So now here, and this is whole definition window. You have here blind and you can define depth 15, let's, let's say. You can define this diameter 15 and you have here, you can reverse and have here V bottom and can change this angle. Now also you have here up to next. Uh, up to last or up to plane. I can you change like up to plane or I can just use blind and let's say here is can change V button. And now this is first uh, definition tab. You can go here on type and you have here simple. You have uh, this tapper and a counterboard. So when we use this counterboard, I have here. Uh, found this on internet you will see this picture so when you want to to make hole for for uh, uh, for screw for this head and for this body you use that uh, that option and uh, we can he say here it's um, uh, this dk is um, mm, 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 is 16 and this k is 10 so i will go back and let's say this diameter is 18 and this depth is let's say 20 12 so head of screw will be two millimeters under this um, surface and this this uh, the diameter here is let's go I, I, I can say 12 and depth is uh, not important and now you see my hole is out of this place so I'll just go back here in sketch I will use constraint and double click here on constraint tool and click on this point this V axis and this H axis and just uh, position this uh, like 30 you can also draw here hole if you want to be sure so like on this a point and just use constraint again and we'll say 18 now you can see so I can type here 5 and go back here uh, auto update is um, is on so it's update itself if I define here in in part body I get my hole for my for my head screw and now I want to explain how to add a thread on this hole so I'll choose hole again and I will choose this point and this uh, face here and I don't want this I just want to here to type and I want simple and now I'll go to thread definition click here threaded and you have here defined uh, metric thing pitch so you can use this and you can say like M10 or, or any any thread you want and you can um, specify thread uh, depth and uh, hole depth so it's always hole depth is always for 10 or for 
5 or the 10 millimeter bigger than this thread depth so if you say here 10 here is uh, 15 so and now you got your thread and this depth here is depth from this um, this window here and now you got your thread now mm, I will just copy this sketch so I copy this and I'll just paste it here and uh, uh, you can use like I will deactivate now here and you can see also this mark here for the thread you can see this uh, cycle here so I will just um, deactivate this hole and let's say I want to use a pattern so I will just go back here in this second set so I don't want this sketch and uh, I want go back here and I will just say these points here click on this point or no click on this point here and just make like this and go here to output and make um, uh, output feature okay and go back now our hole let's see our hole is good to find it's okay and now I want to use patterns so define here and uh, choose here uh, this user pattern click on the user pattern click on this first hole position first click on position so positions are this and you got your pattern so number here is is three and current solid you can change to hole this hole and okay now you can go back here in sketch and like move these points or you can constrain it or whatever you want i'll just move them okay i can delete one of those so you can just go back here and from this sketch delete one or you can add one or whatever you want and now i get got these three holes into my in my part body now i want to show you uh, one good option I'll go here to file and make new product so product okay and now I want to go back here in this tutorial threads and uh, go back here and paste this so now I want to add uh, one more part so file new uh, part new part uh, part 2 ok and I'll just go copy and paste them here in this product 1 paste I'll go here and make one plate so go define uh, double click here uh, define invoke object and I'll just, just I will hide this part and I will make uh, one plate here so just another plate I'll make it bigger so go back and let's say I will just reverse it like so and now hide this and now I want to show you one good good trick so go back here in our part part 2 and now you want to make you have here not this one uh, in tutorial 3 and now here insert new body and let's say uh, threads and you want to public this body so go to tools publication and uh, I want to public this body and now I want to define here uh, define here go to hole and uh, you want to click on this uh, point here and on this uh, here and I define this this hole here for M10 so I am go to thread and I'm, I will use this M10 and this uh, this depth here thread depth and hole depth is not important so I'll just go and leave it on and I want to color this thread on in some color so just go here I don't see the color palette so I'll just go right click here and add graphic properties now I got my palette so let's say this color for thread 
And now I just want to use this. I can copy, just define here, and go to pattern again. I can see. It. Go to pattern, user pattern, and click on this hole, and click on these points. So now I got these uh, two more uh, threads. And now I want to go back here in this product and go here and just copy this. So copy and I want to hide them and paste here. So go here and paste special. Sorry, go here and paste special as a result with link. And what you want to do now, go here in power body define in work object and uh, remove this remove this and let's see our result so now we got here uh, color is not okay but it's not important and now you got here uh, your your hole for your screw and the the thread for your screw so if you go here and just move let's say i want to turn off light so let's say i just to want to move this here i go back and you see this uh, plate want to update, so I must to update, and uh, this hole moves. So if I move, uh, change this catch, everything here is connected. I think so. This is good practice, and I think so. This is much better video from the old one. Uh, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.